Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to run the Snowflake scripting examples in other clients and interfaces. Example, SnowSite or the JD-based driver interfaces. This is the third video from Snowflake scripting playlist. Let's see same in action. Let me log in to my snow site using my credentials. Please note that in real time, you no need to enter your credentials. You have to log in with single sign on. And also note that this is the you know snow site. So if you create a account with recently, then by default the new interface called snow site will be opening otherwise the accounts which have been using and without upgra upgrading then the default classic web console only will be opening so here if you want to still if you want to you know uh, connect to old one and uh, classic web console then here if you see in the main page Okay, here we have a account admin. In similar here, here in the left side down, we have a classic console. Right click on that and open link in new tab. Then it will take you to again. You have to log in. So enter same credentials. Yeah, this is the classic web console from here if you want to again go back to your uh, snow site in the uh, you know if you have a access to snow okay snow site then this is the icon okay from top menu you can see snow site icon if you click uh, then snow site will be opening now let me go back to my snow site here how we are going to create and run the snowflake scripting procedures or anonymous blocks okay here i already you know executed some time back let me open the you know sheet in the sheet here you know this is the my sheet here uh, you know the, if you want to go back to your home then again click on the home then it will take you to you know worksheets what are the uh, worksheets and dashboards if you have any dashboards i haven't created any dashboard so that's why i don't have anything and if you want to see what are the databases available in your account uh, here uh, i click on data then uh, you know you'll see the all the databases under databases here in this uh, uh, demo what i'm going to do i'm going to use the snowflake scripting under snowflake scripting i'm going to create the uh, procedures uh, you know under main schema so in the main schema if you see i don't have any uh, only one table test table is there and uh, other one let me see the procedures see procedures sppy okay these are all procedures are there anyhow i am going to recreate once again so and then here marketplace activity admin okay console now let me go to my worksheets i am opening this worksheet yeah, here you can create Snowflake scripting procedures without using single quote, single quotes or double dollar signs. Even you can use that one, but you cannot use the without single quote in classic or snow SQL. But here you can use the both. You can create a either way of that. So now let me create a simple uh, anonymous block from snow site let me increase the font size yeah here i'm okay so begin null and end so these are the three statements to create a anonymous block okay so to <clears throat> select the code and here in the right side we have a run button click on run button then initializing compiling is null so this is the minimum code you require to create a anonymous block suppose if you, without any third statement i mean you know uh, any other statements only if you try to execute begin and end so we'll see what is going to happen see syntax error unexpected end 
so to create an anonymous block using the snowflake scripting minimum lines required three three lines required okay so here it could be anything so return anonymous block just now let me run this one so i didn't close this one okay line okay i selected see initializing anonymous block is the output because we have used the return so this is the okay uh, where how we are going to create the anonymous blocks and uh, here i didn't use the declared uh, you know block so if you want to use the declare uh, you know you have to define the variables now let me run this anonymous block see compiling and we got the value anonymous block suppose you are going to use the declare and uh, you don't want any variables then let me try obviously we are going to get the error see unexpected error begin because see unnecessarily this one this is a optional block declare is the optional block if you are going to use the uh, declare block uh, block then you have to define at least one variable so that's why if you use the declare block then you have to define at least one variable whether you are going to use that variable inside your execution block is nothing but a begin and end doesn't matter this is the how you are going to create a anonymous block using the declare begin and end okay so here two blocks one is the declare block another one is the mandatory block okay begin and end here i am going to uh, you know make another video regarding the blocks okay so now i am going to create a another procedure name this is the named procedure okay so now same same only here create or replace command i am using so let me Okay, before if let me drop if already is there drop procedure if exist so it will drop so drop statement executed successfully area already drop okay now what i am going to do let me create this one see function area successfully created now this is the compilation or creating now i am going to call or execute that one how you are going to execute this one by using the call statement you can run or execute the statement so this is the output of here okay now what i am going to do simple this is the how we are going to create a name stored procedure or anonymous block by using snowflake scripting language now i am going to show you how to do same activities in, from python so python is one of the interface where you know internally i think uh, the native program so we can execute the both type of both ways like by using the dollar dollar or single quote or without like how we how just now we have executed uh, over uh, here from you know snow site so here if you see this is the my command prompt i already please note that i already installed the python and the configure necessary uh, you know uh, packages required to connect the snowflake so let me before executing this one let me uh, show you the scripts which i am going to execute from the python if you see here this is the anonymous block okay Cre what what i am going to do from this anonymous block create a test table and insert one row okay one row this this is the what i am going to do from this one so uh, anyhow i will share these scripts okay so i am not going to explain the uh, you know uh, how uh, uh, this python just our aim is how to execute the an anonymous block without using single quote or dollar dollar signs so here if you see this is the uh, begin and create or replace table not procedure please note that this is the anonymous block okay from this anonymous block i am going to 
to perform two operations. So one is the create table and another one is the insert data. And, and this is the one procedure. Uh, anonymous block. And another one is the uh, sp, and, uh, sp underscore py and underscore area of circle dot py. From this Python, what I am going to do? I am going to create a named or procedure. Okay. Create or replace. Please note that here we don't have any dollar dollar or single code. Without this is the you know simply creating the procedure. So when you run this one, we have to see this is the output last time. I mean, if we re if you see the output, then that means that procedure may uh, going to create successfully. The other one we can create you know procedure by using dollar dollar or single quote. Here I am using the single quote and the another uh, you know Python script using the dollar dollar. So all are same only, only the, the way different options I am trying to show you. So now let me run one by one. First I will run the anonymous block. So yeah, this is the how you are going to run because I am using the Python. If you are using the, if you use the, I mean, you know, um, 3.8 or something, you can use the Python 3 also. So here I am using the Python and uh, I am using the fully, I mean, you know, complete uh, uh, path because I am in uh, C drive. So I haven't uh, uh, go, back, go to, uh, gone to here. Okay. That's why I am giving the complete path. So I have, uh, I have started running. See, anonymous block ran successfully. Now, if you go to the, our, uh, you know, snow site, I will show you that the table has created with the one row. Okay. So if, uh, let me run again. If you run again, then it will just create a replace is there. So no use. So let, let me open snow site. Let me go to snow site and then select star from test. Okay. This is the table. So let me select see first row. Now what I will do, let me drop this table, drop table test. Okay. Test successfully drop. Now, okay. Compilation error because the table is, does, table doesn't exist. Now what I'm going to do now again, let me run the anonymous block from python.py. So please ignore this error, this uh, the compatibility related. So ignore that one. So here again, it has been executed successfully. Now, let me see the data. See first row. So one row has been inserted from Python. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to run another Yeah. So SP PY area of circle dot PY. This will create the named procedure. Okay. It's not anonymous, just procedure. Okay. So if it is completed successfully, then we see see SP underscore PY area of circle com compiled successfully. So now you just copy this procedure and go to here and by using the call statement. You can just run this one. So let me run this. See, we got the value. What I am going to do? Let me drop this procedure. Drop here was E D U R U procedure procedure name. Drop procedure. So procedure dropped. If I try to execute this one, we are going to get error unknown function. Now what I'm going to do again, I'm going to run the same. Yeah. SPPY area of circle compile successful. Please note that we can call the function from Python script also. Uh, in this demo, I'm not going to do that one. So here again, let me call this one. Now this time we'll see the output. Yeah, we got the output. This is the way how we are going to create a procedure by using the snowflake scripting from JDBC driver or native program. So now what I'm going to do, we can create a procedure by using the other option like, you know, whatever we have done in the previous video, 
by using the single quote or uh, double dollar uh, sign so we can do that one also for that i have a another script uh, let me yeah so anonymous block this one sp yeah single quotes so in sp underscore py area of circles single quotes dot py which i showed from notepad the syntax so if you see this one yeah sp underscore py area of circle compiled successfully okay so i i actually printed the entire syntax over here this is the syntax if you see here uh, you will see uh, you know single quote over here uh, create or replace written language the, this is the single quote okay now what i am going to do i am going to show you the how to create by procedure by using the dollar 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 signs let me execute this one see if you see create or replace procedure written where care language sql as dollar dollar end with the dollar dollar and sp yeah that's it from this video thank you for watching my video if you really like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel click bell icon for more notifications share it and like it. Thank you once again for watching my video.